Hello oh, and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Erin. The channel that brings you your team every single day. The channel that brings you all the latest updates, news, views, transfer rumours, speculation, club statements, podcasts, live streams, all that content, guys, all for free. Well, guys, if you want all that content, if you need your Glasgow Rangers fix, then hit that sub, ring that notification bell. And if you can give my video a like, it would help out, guys. Anyway... Some news that I've just been been looking through Twitter, reading some articles, checking some stuff out. Um, I also spoke to a journalist as well from the Yorkshire Evening Post. I have some sources, guys. You've got to have some sources. Um, and it reported that Leeds are very, very interested in securing the services of Glenn Kamara. Uh, that is what has been suggested by a number of um, media outlets in in and around the Leeds area, including the Yorkshire Evening Post as well. Now, this was tweeted out very early. This is not the only source. It's on Twitter. There's also the, uh, the Daily Record, like the Yorkshire Evening Post. I spoke to a, a Yorkshire Evening Post journalist about it as well. It says, exclusive, Leeds United are in advanced talks with Glenn Kamara, with Rangers over Glenn Kamara. Leeds have already agreed personal terms with Glenn Kamara, one to watch. Uh, Joe Tiffany is someone who reports on Rangers, on so on Leeds United, not on Rangers, on Leeds United. So it is, seems to be the case that Leeds are very heavily interested in Glenn Kamara. Now, as yet, there is no indication on what the fee could be. Now, that is, I think, where the negotiations are currently ongoing. Now, most, whilst there might be a agreement between the player and the club and the club in place for that transfer, there has to be obviously an agreement between the two clubs, and that is where we're seemingly at at the moment. That uh, Rangers are currently in negotiations uh, with Leeds for the transfer of Kamara. Now, Glenn Kamara did not go with Rangers on the pre-season uh, training camp in. Germany he stayed at home now it may have been that during this time that is when he met with Leeds and these negotiations took place obviously with Rangers been away that has that delayed any advance in terms of the club to club negotiations as we've seen in the case of Danilo Panzo Cifuentes for example as a lot of the Rangers staff, in particular manager Michael Beale, obviously were in Germany. Now, I know, yes, we are in a modern era. We, yes, we have online meetings. Yes, we have Zoom calls. Yes, we have, uh, hand, you know, we have mobile phones, et cetera, et cetera. But it is st still felt that, you know, for Beale himself, he likes to obviously, you know, talk to, talk to people face to face. Um, and obviously there was well that there was a focus not on selling of players or buying of players at that point. The sole focus was on obviously the training that was going on in Germany. Now, Glenn Kamara, it is rumoured, obviously is interesting a number of English clubs, but it does seem that Leeds have got the drop on those English clubs. Other clubs that were reportedly interested, other than obviously the Turkish club, Besiktas, were the English clubs, Southampton and Sheffield United. However, it is now felt that Leeds have got the upper hand. Uh, Glenn Kamara, who made 271 appearances for Rangers and scored nine goals in his time. And who can forget that goal against Leipzig uh, to put us 2-0 up in that Europa League semi-final? A phenomenal strike um, in such an emotionally charged atmosphere with his wave of his left boot, I think, as the commentator put it, um, as he then pulled off the black armband and kissed the black armband. Certainly a fitting tribute indeed. Now, Glenn Kamara is someone who, during season 55, I thought was a great player, did exceptionally well, and has done well in Europe as well to some degree. You know, performances in the Europa League in particular were very good. However, last season, there was a real drop-off in his form. Some people put this down to the fact that Joe Rebo and Calvin Bassi left, who were good friends of Kamara's. They felt some Rangers fans have alleged there was a downing of tools by Kamara after these two players left. Uh, Kamara didn't re didn't really carry much favour with Michael Beale. Also, despite the fact that obviously Beale was part of that uh, that coaching staff that won fifty five, and obviously would have been in um, would have seen how well Kamara played. Now, uh, Glenn Kamara was used in that via play league cup final and was exceptionally poor. And from that game onwards, was hardly used. And it did seem strange that he was used in that Hearts game, the the home game, uh, the final home game, the, in the same way that uh, the other players who were leaving were in a kind of I don't know way of. He hadn't played, he hadn't featured at all, and suddenly he was starting in a sort of a, a farewell, maybe. And, and, you know, Glenn Kamara will leave the club this summer. I think that is more than guaranteed, 110% guaranteed that he's going to leave. Um, Michael Bill doesn't want him at the club anymore. Glenn Kamara doesn't want to be at the club anymore. But it does seem that Leeds are his favoured destination. Now, Leeds, who have just been relegated to the English Championship, are uh, working with, with a new manager, Daniel Fark, and the... Uh, the 
the drive amongst the club now is to spend money to get them straight back up using those parachute payments, those inflated massive parachute payments they get even after relegation. But it does seem that Glen Kamara will very soon be on the move and probably looking at the reports that are coming out of the area uh, to Leeds United. Like I said, it has also been tweeted out by a number of Glasgow sources, a number of Glasgow podcasts as well, um, as well as the Yorkshire Evening Post and of the Yorkshire Papers and Yorkshire Media Sources and also sources close to Leeds United. But interesting news to share with you guys. I, for one, obviously think it's time for Glenn to go. You know, he was poor last season. Thank you, Glenn, for 55 and the Europa League run. You were phenomenal. You did brilliant in those. But you've, I don't know, you've kind of tied your legacy a little bit maybe with, with, with last season. But, you know, he goes with our best wishes if it is that he finally does go to Leeds. Hopefully we can get somewhere around the asking price that Rangers want for him. I think four, four and a half, five million would be a phenomenal return on uh, Glenn Kamara, considering we only paid £50,000 for him. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think of this departure of Glenn Kamara to Leeds. Well, probable departure anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation. Please hit that sub, ring that notification bell. And remember always, there's two things, just two things I want you to do for me. Number one, smash the like because it does help. And number two, remember always, we are the people. And these, these are some of, the, some of those people. Thank you.